Hi guys! Welcome to Luis Lessons. Yes, nagbabalik ang Luis Lessons. Napaka-espesyal ng bisita natin on our show. Walang iba, award-winning actor, Eliza Carlas. Hi bro. Thank you. Pam Pambihira naman. Wala ba tayong upuan na kahit pantay lang dun sa guest? Ano, sana hinigaan nyo na lang ako dito. Sana na nagtat... Pambihira. Elijah, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, is a biblical name. Yeah. Marami salamat sa pag-iis to Luis Lissens. Thank you very much. Ganun kadali. Ang gusto po namin, eh talaga nga marami tayong matutunan tukos sa ating bisita. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thanks for having me. May mga tanong pa ba dapat? Meron pa ba? Pag-interview ba, hindi lang isa lang? Meron pa. Meron pa. Okay, eto gusto ko para makilala ko ang aking mga bisita. Kung paano sila mag-isip. Mamili ka sa mga superpowers na to. Super bilis ka tumakbo. Pero may hika ka. O nakakalipad ka. Pero hanggang tuhod lang. <laughs> Mabilis tumakbo pero may hika. May inhaler naman eh. <laughs> mga ganun. tatlong ganun lang. Sundot na naman. Tatlong ganun lang. Maganda. Maganda. Hindi, eto talaga. Ikaw, as an artist, if you were to describe yourself. I guess, passionate. Okay. Passionate. Saan mo nakuha yung passion na yun? sa zodiac sign ko. Wow. <laughs> di ba na mabasa mo pag umaga, di ba? Yeah. O hindi kaya pag newspaper fun drive, di ba? Alam mo yan. But I think yung na-instill lang na competitiveness ng parents ko with me when I was younger. Uh, to us siblings, when we used to play sports, tapos na, nadala namin sa artistry namin. Uh, if you want me ask you, ano ba sport mo? We played a lot. We played basketball before, badminton, playing tennis now. My dad's a very sporty guy po kasi. Yes, pero isa yan sa mga kailangan natin ngayon ang pagiging isang passionate person. Kung ano man yung field na yun. At nakikita natin dahil sa kanyang passion, eh alam niyo man na internationally acclaimed actor both. Diba? Local and international. At yung nakuha mong mga achievements, dream yan for napakaraming artists. Even yung mga tinitingalan na natin, Parang they still want to win international awards. So, ano pakiramdam na at a very young age, eh, nabigyan na sa'yo yun? I feel more inspired to do better, honestly. I mean, I have, I have a long way to go. I have a lot of things to learn. So, sana, sana I live up to the expectations of other people. So, ito nga ang CNN. Eh, talagang ginawa ka pa nga, di ba, actor of the year. Yep. Di ba, could you imagine a CNN? Crazy. So, I, di ba? You've done so much. Achieved so much. Sa lahat ng yun, ano yung naging pinaka-challenge para sa'yo? Siguro believing in myself took a while. Still not 100% there, pero papunta na doon. I'm believing in myself more and more each day. But yun, yung self-confidence, it takes a lot of work and effort. Paano yung jump mo from uh, an athlete, from someone who's passionately intense, competitive, tapos to the, ano naman? Sa arts naman. Uh, I got a scholarship nung high school sa Philippine High School for the Arts. I don't okay. know if you know it, Kuya. Sa Los Baños. And we were all scholars. Das, para, if your grade is lower than 91, you get kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, nako. Ay, nako. Sa 98, pinapagalitan na ako ng mami ko. I'm sure. Diyos ko, pag ako nakakuha ng report card 98, anak, pinabayaan ka ba namin? So, ang average ko dati is 108. Ganon ako ka smart. A plus plus plus. Just ko. Hindi na naubos ng cards ha ka plus sa akin. Oh, pero it's nice. So para paano ngay transition na yon? It's therapeutic. This one acting. It's more therapeutic because you get to empathize with your characters and then you learn more about people. You learn more about yourself in the process. Masaya siya in that way because it's more of a collaboration. And like sa sports, mas competition talaga. You're out to kill each other. Dito mas tulungan kahit pa paano. Yung acting for you ba, was it an outlet? Ikaw ba naturally, yung mga hindi nakikita namin, ikaw ba iyakin kang tao? No. 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 Marami kang walls, I guess. Yes, no. Hindi ako emotional na person. I may be sensitive, yeah, pero hindi ako emotional na person. So, yeah, naging outlet nga siya, yung acting. So, how was your very first crying scene? Kaya ko lang binabanggit to. Kasi same thing ako. Yung, kumbaga, pag binabalikan ko, wala akong yung trigger point na sinasabi. I've, you know, had an okay life. So, nung first crying scene ko, 
halos hindi ako humihinto ng iyak. It's because it's as if the floodgates were open. Yeah. Maraming mga pent-up emotions yeah. na bigla na lang, yeah. dahil binuksan mo yung emotions mo, yung puso mo, tuloy-tuloy ako, umiyak literally an hour, wala, walang stir to. So ikaw, kamusta yung first crying scene mo? Technically, kasi my first was back in 2014 okay. for my first movie that I ever did. Naalala ko, hirap na hirap ako umiyak noon. But then I quit acting for personal reasons. And then when I went back noong 2018, yun, parang ganun kay Luis. My first crying scene noong 2018, the floodgates were open and they were hard to close so parang okay next day siguro isunod-sunod natin yung crying scenes mo para tuloy-tuloy lang diba parang yeah. para sa akin it's it's one of those things na akala mo okay ka lang akala mo lahat mm-hmm. kaya mong idaan sa tawa pero pag na nakiliti na yung emosyon na yun eh labas talaga ang lahat ng mga natatago mong napagdaanan diba yeah. what's the best thing about doing what you do right now Aside from it being therapeutic, siguro just meeting these brilliant artists then you know, people who are passionate then for their craft and being able to tell these stories and yung napapanood ng mga tao and it means something to them. Kailin yeah, ka na starstruck sa mga nakilala mo? Siguro kay Tito Eddie Garcia. Ah, si Sir Manoy. Yep. Oh. Idol. Oh. As in. Parang naalala ko may kumakalat kasi na maaga yun sa set. Kung 6 a.m. call time, nandun na yun ng 5.35, ganyan. Kaya nung may call time kaming 7 a.m., sabi ko, okay, then darating ako 6. 5.30 pa lang nandun na siya. Sabi ko, this guy, he's built different talaga. And I guess, na, makikita natin yun sa ibang mga sabihin natin na medyo the, the more senior yep. stars. Now, there's always something to learn uh, mula sa kanila, whether it be from work ethic, or sa, sa talent nila. So how was it? How, ano yung meeting na yun? Lumapit ka ba? O talagang you had two seconds na, na talagang na, nag-pause ka? Nag-meet na naman kami sa reading noon, mga look test kay Luis. But I remember nung last scene niya, I just thanked him. You know, sabi ko, uh, Tito Eddie, thank you for doing this, thank you, it's an honor, blah, blah, blah. And then he was like, ano ka ba? Ginano niya lang ako, ano ka ba? And then he proceeded to give me like advice on how to have longevity in this industry. Because I've been living by his advice since Anis 2018. Sir number one, be kind to everyone. Number two, don't be late. And number three, study your script. Very simple advice, yeah. but you can work on it, make it deeper, and just live by it. Especially yung number one, be kind. I think yeah. that's a big thing. And siguro it's something that people take for granted now. Yeah. Na, you know, nang, nangyayari na we get to witness na minsan hindi na ibibigay yung uh, tamang respeto sa co-star, whether it be younger, more senior, at lalong lalo na sa mga tao sa likod ng kamera. Para sa akin, kung ano yung respeto binibigay mo sa taong kaharap mo, yun din ang eksakto, and even more, respeto binibigay mo sa mga tao sa likod ng kamera. Okay, pag-usapan naman natin ngayon ang nagpapatibok ng puso mo, kasi happy po ito eh! At eksakto, yung minamahal niya, eh kumbaga is one of the kindest people din naman sa industriya. Matagal ko nakasama sa home sweetie, di ba, si Miles. So how, kamusta kayong dalawa? Happy and uh, busy with our own stuff, but we always make sure to help each other grow, not just as people, but as artists especially. Paano yung, yung transition from just knowing Miles hanggang sa nagkaroon na ng, uh, uy, medyo may konting attraction weird, na to ha. Uh. Uy, girl. next level na natin to ha. Uh. Sobrang weird kasi in denial ako the whole time. We were working together for wow. so Love team kami, ganyan. Tapos, syempre, I wanted to keep it professional. Nung nagkaka-feelings na ako for her, I waited for the show to end muna to, to like do something about it and make sure na baka characters lang to yes. or whatever. Pero like months after the shoot, parang hindi pala... Nandun pa rin. Nandun pa rin. Okay, Nandun okay. Pa rin. And it turns out, uh, reciprocated pala yung feelings, mutual pala. Sabi ko, okay, then let's see where it takes us. And magta two years na kami and we're having a lot of fun together. Let's say na it's a bad day for you. Ano ang ginagawa niya para suyuin ka or to make you feel better? Watch a movie together. Just stay in. Uh, then we watch a movie together. Whatever movie I want to watch. And then we just eat popcorn. Get it now. Simple joys. Simple joys. Ito tanong ko sa'yo, kamusta ang bashing sa'yo? <laughs> I don't really mind kasi siguro all those bashers I see just on the screen of my phone or just okay. the screen of my laptop. They don't really reach me physically or personally. So, pag may natatanggap akong hate, kunwari sa mall shows or ganyan, I guess. Mall shows? Pa, I don't no? know. Like, pag may mga ano, ano lang. Kasi, di ba, may nagbabad sign ba? Or hindi, hindi, wala naman. Yung pag wala lang nag-cheer. Or baka hindi lang nila feel yung kinakanta ko. <laughs> That's me every day. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> Ako yan. Pero, 
I, I just take it as it is, you know, uh, people are entitled to their own personal judgments and everything yeah. like that. So, I'm just gonna not take for granted the people who have love for me and the people who will support me, whatever happens. Ano yung uh, highest moment mo sa industry as an artist? I like to think now, uh, I like to think it's right now where people, yun nga, nagkakaroon ako more confidence in myself, I believe in myself much more. And there are a lot of people who are in So I guess aside from you know, all the recognition that I've gotten, which have really validated myself as an artist, it's like this present that, that I'm in right now. It's, I think it's a special time for me. If that's the highest, very special, what's the most challenging? Mo? Na, kubaga, sometimes, you, right before sleeping, you think about it, and then you say that I'm just going to go out. When I quit acting, I remember back in 2015, I was doing uh, mga best friend roles yes. sa mga soap. Or I came from doing independent movies. Then I did yung mga best friend roles. Uh, I wasn't enjoying it anymore. So I stopped it. Uh, sabi ko, I'll just do whatever I can do. So I, I focused on my studies. As eventually, bumalik yung, yung passion for it. Bumalik yung mga inspiration, gayang gayan. And nagkaroon ng opportunity. And I just took it. Tapos, ito, here I am now. So, buti na lagpasan ko yung two to three years na yun na I was just at home or just studying like that. Actually, I mean naman natin, di ba, napakarami sa mga Pinoy movies ang pag napanood mo, minsan mas tumatatak pa yung best friend. Yes, di ba? Totoo din, totoo din. Mas naalala mo, yeah. di ba? Yeah. Kasi parang there's a way of uh, parang creating that character na minsan yeah. yung bida will always be the bida. Pero ang tatatak sa'yo is yung mga hirit ng best friend yep. or how the best friend reacts to a certain thing. Kaya di ba, ang dami dyan yung mga pambansang best friend yeah. na talaga naman sila yung talagang automatic na first comes to mind, di ba? Okay, so pag-usapan naman natin yung about us but not about us. So sabi mo nga with all the films, everything you've done, how was it working on this project? Crazy. This is the craziest thing I've ever done, siguro. Uh, yung bomb project kasi is just two characters sitting sa restaurant just talking the whole film. Sabi ko, once in a lifetime yung ganyang classing role, it's an actor's dream. We play several roles in the uh, we play several characters in the film. So it's a crazy process and uh, knowing that it's our director si Direct Jimlana, it's his most personal film yet. So nandun yung pressure of living up to that, you know, justifying these characters for him kasi it's a personal journey for him. Eh. So, yun, yun yung challenge nun. But I'm, we're super honored that we're included sa first summer MMFF. Yes! Kasi, yun, nabigyan kami ng platform to show this film of ours. And I hope people watch it. At syempre, kasama mo, isa sa mga tinitingala dyan. Idol ko yun. Idol, so, idol, idol ko to. Ko ito yung sinasa, ito yung ginagawa nating punchline. Pero totoo talaga, yes. na bata pa lang ako, pinapanood <laughs> ko na siya. Pa ako. Walang iba, <laughs> si Boss Rom, Rom Nick. Yeah. So how was it working with Kuya Rom? Nick? Dad, actually, nandyan siya. Mm-hmm. Siya, makakasama din natin sa Louise Listens. It's a privilege, honestly. Kasi si Kuya Nick, nakakintindihan kami dahil he's done theater before as well. And I, I used to do theater. So may isang language kami while working together. And talagang collaboration she. We had to work together for this movie to make it work. Kasi nga dalawa lang kami, yeah. and we're just talking the entire film, sitting down. So nade. Uh, Ang sarap so, sa location manager ng shoot. Yeah. Asara. <laughs> BGC lang kami. <laughs> Wala problema sa location manager. Oh. But he was very generous. That's the thing. Siguro yun yung pinaka masasabi ko kay Kuya Nick. And the kindest person, most down to earth person that you're ever gonna meet. And uh, I learned a lot from him through the process, so I'm grateful for that. Ito, what do you want to share? Because a lot of the young ones uh, look up to you, diba? Na everything you've done. And ako bago sinabi nila na ako parang if I enter the industry, I want to be like Elijah, someone passionate, someone who, uh, who has been rec- rightfully recognized. Ano ang gusto mong sabihin sa kanila? Na maybe that they're having second thoughts of joining the industry, or hindi kaya sinabi nila I want to be an artist. Ano nga gusto mong i-share sa kanila? Kinilig naman ako doon. Oh, thanks, diba? thanks for that. Thanks for that. No, but nakaka-pressure yun. Ah. But never be too prideful to be close-minded to new learnings. Na you can learn from everyone. To the, from the senior artists, from the crew, from everyone on set. So I think you just have to be open-minded and you have to be kind. Yun talaga, siguro yung ganyang advice, dapat yeah. inuulit ko na lang yung sinasabi sa akin ni Tito Eddie before. Yeah. Na just be kind, don't be late, and study your script. Study your freaking script. Tama. Tama naman, di ba Sir Manoy? We miss you, hindi ba? So why don't you invite everyone na abangan ang movie niya, that one? 
Iniimbitahan ko po kayong lahat manood ng About Us But Not About Us sa very first Summer Metro Manila Film Festival. It's directed by the great Jun Robles Lana and it's starring me and the idol Romnick Sermenta. Sana po mapanood nyo. Nationwide po yan sa mga sinehan starting April 8th. Congratulations to you, brother. God bless you. And may you be an even bigger inspiration sa napakarami na gustong maging artista. To all the passionate people out there, sometimes you don't have to look so far dahil ito yung mga dapat tinitingalan ninyo. Brother, thank you very much. At syempre, abangan nyo ang game show ko dito sa channel natin, ang Lucky Ka Dito. At marami pa akong vlog na gagawin. And thank you very much din sa lahat naman nagpapadala ng message tungkol kay Peanut at kay How How. So thank you for watching. Luis Listens, Lucky TV, lahat-lahat na. Bye, guys.